So, um, are you looking forward to Christmas? And, uh, oh yeah, that album, Young at Heart. What have you been doing? <laughs> <What? laughs> Where are we going, Pete? I'll have to come here for my bushland adventures. <laughs> Look at that, folks. <sighs> May Trev, welcome. Today is Monday, 6th of December. Start of a new day. Start of a new week. <laughs> yes. And I uh, hope you had a great weekend. Mm. And, uh... Well, I've had a busy weekend, really. Been been a bit of travelling around, and uh, of course Saturday I did my filming for my um, bushland adventures. So that'll show up next weekend on my uh, Trev's Bushland Adventures channel on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, <laughs> and uh, so uh, that'll be good. And of course yesterday uh, I took my brother out. It was which was Sunday. And uh, we went to Mansfield, we went there for lunch, and then we went to a little town called Jamison. Jamison, I haven't been there for years. So um, we had a great day there, so we, we sort of went for a bit of a walk around. Then we returned back to Mansfield um, to do a bit of sightseeing along the way. And uh, then we sort of travelled over the Whitlands area, looking at Powers Lookout. So we did that on the way home. So it was a night. It was a lovely round trip. So that was really good. So uh, then we went through Whitfield and back home, back to Wangaratta. So it was a full day uh, trip, a day trip. So that's really good. So um, now, of course, um, it's coming on to Christmas, isn't it? It's not that all that far away. <laughs> so uh, are you looking forward to Christmas? I don't mind Christmas Day uh, being with the family. Um, but I hate approaching Christmas. <laughs> you know, you know, that, you know what I mean. You, you get to a stage that you're not looking forward to Christmas. It's coming. Let it get it over and done with. <laughs> but when it comes to Christmas Day, of course, it's joy and happiness, wasn't it? And, um, yeah, of course, this year, it's, we're going to have a good Christmas. So I'll be spending Christmas Day with my sister and uh, take my brother out there, we're going out there for lunch, Christmas lunch, so that'll be good. So that'll fulfill the day. Yeah. So that, that's what I like. So, and, uh, and uh, I haven't even started my Christmas shopping yet. <laughs> uh, I'm always a late person when it comes to Christmas and putting up the Christmas tree, which I'll be doing very soon um, here at the home, my first Christmas at the new rented home. <laughs> So um, I'm here for the next 12 months, which is good. Hopefully beyond that, hmm, be good. So, um, I know, and uh, yeah, so I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Yeah. Oh. Now, what have I got here? I've got CDs. And, uh, this is my stock box of CDs that I sell. And um, they haven't been sold for quite a while. So there's lots of titles in there. Um, they're very well packed in with uh, bags so they can be protected. And uh, oh yeah, that album, Young at Heart. It's called Young at Heart. Yeah, got some good songs on there. And, uh, and I've still got these for sale. So if anybody wants to order CDs, um, let me know and um, then you can get on my email address yes so um, then we go from there unless uh, if you run into me if you see me anywhere around you want a CD let me know or I can work something out I have some Christmas albums out as well the old Christmas Christmas time and um, uh, what else I've got heaps of that my kind of Christmas. Still got albums of that. Um, they range around about ten to twenty dollars each, depending on the amount of songs. Christmas, the Christmas albums they sell for twenty dollars each. CDs. Yep. Um, any short, any with shorter amount of songs, uh, a little bit cheaper. Like the Ranga Primary School. 
my old primary school. <laughs> that sells for 10 bucks each. Yeah, that's celebrating 50 years. 1955, 2005. I brought that in 2005. So um, that's still for sale. And uh, now I've just also reissued um, this one. Which is called True Stories and Tales. It's Bush Ballads, True Stories, and some uh, and some tales, stories that are not true, maybe. <laughs> a bit like the old Busted Bedford was on there. Yeah, the Heart of Australians. It's all Australian songs. I wrote most of them, not all. Uh, and uh, the good old Trains is on that. So the next one I'm going to re-release yet um, is Home is Where Your Heart Is. That's this one. Now, this is only a sheet of paper because this is what I've got to print out and fold. Home is Where Your Heart Is. Now, that's my last album I ever brought out. 2014. <laughs> so I haven't brought any albums out since then. So next year, in 2022, hopefully we'll see some more albums released, some new ones. There's a lot of songs out there recorded that have never been published on the CDs. Like songs like um, That's My Dad, um, things, songs like that, um, and um, Let the Children Sing. Uh, there's so many songs out there that haven't been released on CDs. Now I'm going to be working on those. And uh, so any other stocks that I've run out of, I'm going to have to restock some. So a few people to buy CDs is what supports the artists and it keeps it going and we can record more songs, new songs, so which I am working on now at the moment. So uh, got to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> May Trev, welcome. Today is Friday. End of the week, start of a new weekend. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, what have I got? I've got a parcel. <laughs> I've got mail. Yeah, I wonder what it is. It's quite heavy. Mm. Oh, it is. We'll see what it is. <laughs> and it's 3rd of December. Yep. And what have you been doing, Trev? What have you been doing? <laughs> what have I been doing? Oh. Nothing much, really. I haven't been flogging very much because um, there's nothing much to flog, really, during the week because I've been, been busy at work. That's about it. So what have I got in here? History? Something? It's a book. I don't know. It looks like a book or something. It's a calendar. A calendar. And, oh, my past book. I know what this is. This is a calendar of me. Pictures of me. <laughs> yes. And my past book. And, of course, this is from Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. And um, I put together all the photos during the decade between 2010, I think, and up till 2020 so through the last decade photos so of course I've always put that put it down as this as your life are full of chapters uh, full of chapters really chapters it's like a storybook you got your chapters you know events so um, during the last decade of course I've been doing a lot of um, singing at open mics and I've been doing maybe a few concerts here and there and um, this is really nice quite heavy actually it's a book it's a book a book <laughs> it's a book oh look at all the photos look at that Pages and pages of photos that were taken on my Facebook. I took photos of myself. There's a lot of pages and a lot of photos. Boy. And
and um, the same thing with the calendar. Now this is beautiful. This is really this cost me a lot of money, really. But I guess the cost for a lot of money it has to be good, doesn't it? So I want to I want to bless. I want to thank all you people, all my good friends, relatives on Facebook, um, being with me on Facebook, and. Uh, and I've been very loyal, really, uh, so, on Facebook, I've been very loyal. I take a lot of good photos, I mean, I've always liked, I'm always like photography. This is something I've been like, I've always liked photography for a long time. I was a freelance photographer back in the oh, mid-90s, during the 90s. I used to, um, I used to take photos of horses, ponies, people, dogs. <laughs> Yeah, so, or anything. And I love landscapes. This is a calendar. Oh, got my recliners. <laughs> In my lounge room. Yeah, still got them. 2022 calendar. And look at all the photos. <laughs> oh, this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my dad is in there. <laughs> Oh my dad, oh my god. I love this. I really do. I love this. I really do. I wouldn't have got this if I wasn't financed enough, but um, now I've got a lot of finances. Um, I was able to afford this. And um, now I've got my cousin Linda. It's just, you're in there, in my calendar, and my mum, and dad, and my sisters, look at that. I'm gorgeous. Oh, beautiful calendar, that's June. Of course, my sister's in there too, Wendy. <laughs> well, her birthday's in June, so, and my mum as well. So there you go. And my dad, and Peter. Oh, I've got everybody in there. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you, Facebook. Big shout out to Facebook. <laughs> what am I going to do today? Don't know. I know I've got my lawn, my washing and laundry going, and um, taking Peter out tonight. We're trying to decide where we go tonight. Whether we go to the foodies market in Wangaratta, or go to Benalla Market. They've got an outdoor market. So we've got a decision which way we which one we go to because they're all at the same time. <laughs> so and of course yeah. And uh, we've now it's warming up, it's summertime, yeah. Summer, summer loving. Yeah. Welcome, today is Sunday. Where am I? In a little town called Jamison. Jamison, yeah. It's a quaint little town. No, I haven't been here for a long time. I remember being here with mum and dad and his friends. Look at that, that looks like a bank. It was. <laughs> Peter. Yeah, this is the main street, only a small town. It's a gold rush town too as well. So uh, we're just having a look around and see what we can find. Yeah, just walk and walk around. What have we got? Jamison and Woods Point Chronicle. Hmm. That must have been the old print site of a printing office. Yeah. Probably this is one of the places that I'll have to come to for my adventures channel. 
Yeah. There's so much to see, so much to film. A bit of bushwalking. <laughs> and there's a lot of some mine shafts up around the hills too. So, um, and, uh, and there's a cemetery here in Jamison where the graves are buried vertical. Yes, vertical. Mm. Forest, Mount yeah, Jamison, information. Pete, just going for a bit of a walkabout here in Jamison. This is a war memorial here. Yeah. Lovely little park. This is the town, it's only a small town. This is the main street, I think. Pub. And we're coming to a, uh, yeah. Ooh, that's an old dray. Very antique. Yeah. We have a little shop where we went to before. Jamison General Store. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. A bit cloudy, but it's alright. What's that? A horse. An old relic. Yeah, they used to tire horses along here. That's the, the hitching post <laughs> for horses. That would have been there for a long time. Wow, what, what, what's this plate? No, oh, miner's hut. Zoopy. Master's hut. And we've got a community Christmas party on the Friday 10th of December at the Big Pool. <laughs> 2021. No. That's not like we were up at Petrol Bar. Because when we were at I was at Petrol Bar, remember they had a notice. No. The last Australia Day celebration no. was 2018. No. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the last time they had it. Because of how the last two years they've been missing out because of the um, bushfires and uh, and the COVID <laughs> restrictions. <laughs> so, uh, it's an old post office. Yeah, yeah spread the merry. An old post office. Post office. Yeah. That's about it. Mm. And there's another coffee shop over there. Memorial Hall. So that's it, Jamison. Memories.
This is beautiful. This is uh, what we call, I think, it's Haukwa, a place called Haukwa. Haukwa Lookout. There's a resort down there. You can go there and for a bit of accommodation if you want. This is part of Lake Ilden. Yeah. There are the hills. Oh, beautiful. I'd love to come here for my bushland adventures. Here at Jamison, there's so much to see. Yeah. They have a little car park here. Sand. <laughs> Back to Powers Lookout. Mm. <laughs> Look at that, folks. I've been here so many times. Those noisy cars. <laughs> They're noisy out in the road, <laughs> out in my street. <laughs> yeah, they are noisy. These motorists, they treat that street like a highway. They really do. Got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's my bean bag. My new bean bag. Yeah. Fill it up with beans. <laughs> oh, I've still got to try and crush the um, bag inside with the beans. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's not a soccer ball chair. I've still got that, the soccer ball chair. It's deflated in my spare room. So if anybody wants it, they can come and get it. <laughs> it's free. Yeah, soccer ball chair, I want to get rid of it. I don't want it. I want this one. Ah, oh, it's all right. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to finish this vlog so I can doze, go to sleep. I've had a big day. <laughs> and I shall see you at the next vlog. Create harmony, peace, bye. You never know what I get up to next. Bye, enjoy your week. <laughs>